Criminal charges could be laid against Dreamworld and its staff after the Queensland coroner delivered scathing findings into the 2016 tragedy that killed four people. Live to Julia Bradley, who's on the Gold Coast for us. Julia, the mother of two of the victims, has spoken this morning. Well, Kim Dorset, the mother of Kate Goodchild and Luke Dorset, two of the victims of the Thunder River Rapids riot tragedy of 2016, she's spoken out this morning saying that Dreamworld's parent company, Ardent Leisure, is in a world of hurt and she doesn't believe it will stop here. Now, this comes after the long-awaited handing down of the findings into the Dreamworld inquest. Queensland coroner James McDougall said that there was a systematic failure in all aspects of safety by Dreamworld and that the tragedy could have been prevented, outlining a number of hazards that contributed to the disaster, including the failure of a water pump, shoddy records and inadequate staff training. Now, uh, Kim Dorset this morning, she said, having sat through the inquest and listened to all that evidence, I wasn't surprised, actually. It was something that we heard bit by bit, add-on by add-on every day. Policy and procedures just not being followed. Now, Ardent Leisure has been referred to the Office of Industrial Relations for possible prosecution. The coroner, James McDougall, says that there is evidence to suggest that they could have breached workplace laws. Now, the penalty for this is up to $3 million in fines for a company or $600,000 or five years jail for an individual. Industrial Relations Minister Grace Grace says that the independent prosecutor for work, health and safety now has 12 months to decide whether to prosecute.